Hey everyone, in this video we're going to discuss the carousel feature. Now the carousel feature is common in a lot of web pages these days and basically it is a glorified slideshow that can hold a lot of information in a small amount of space. And we can find the carousel in the toolbox if we scroll down to miscellaneous and highlight it and drag it out on our page. As with most things in WYSIWYG Web Builder, we can move it around once it's highlighted and we can reposition it to make it any size we like. Now, as you'll notice on the carousel, there are some navigation bars on the left and right hand side and there are what's called pagations on the bottom. Now, it loads with a default of four, which means there's going to be four different slides. Now, with almost everything in WYSIWYG Web Builder, you can right click, open up the object properties, and by default, you'll see that it loaded four different pages. Now, we can add to this or delete some pages. Now, of course, in order to have a slideshow, you need at least two pages, otherwise it wouldn't be a slideshow. So just keep that in mind. And we'll, we'll get to some of these other options here in just a second. But let me, let me show you um, a carousel that I built earlier. And I want to tell you that this is a really, really crude, ugly slideshow. But let me tell you what I did. Okay. On slide number one, I, well, first of all, my object properties, slide number one, I edited. I went into edit and I choose this background pattern, background pattern image. Okay? I repeated it in both directions because it's a really small file. Okay? So let's cancel all that. So that's how I created the background of the slide. And then I went over to my toolbox, I grabbed my image tool, drag it out, and I put on this little apple here, which we've seen in other videos. Now, I did the same thing with my text. However, I wanted a background color to my text, so I also created a layer text, or layer, with a background image of solid color purple. Oops. And then I put some text on it and I inserted that into the layer itself and that's how we got this slide. So just so you know, created a separate background image for this particular slide, threw an image on here, threw a layer on here, put some text inside that layer and I actually colored this, this text. Slide number two, I did the same thing. Basically, I went in and, well, here, let's show you. Object properties, edit, slide number two. See, as you can tell, I my background, I changed it to a purplish background. And then I grabbed my text tool from the toolbox drag it out here, change the font, change the color, change the size, and you can position this anywhere you want. Slide number three, same thing. So we're coming here, object properties, slide number three, edit. You'll see I choose a textured background this time. And we got lots of textures in here. That's the texture I chose. We can change this. Let's change it to this marble. Boom. Okay. All right. I changed the background to a pattern, and then I went to the toolbox, grabbed the image tool, drag it out, and put this castle on here, which I think you've seen in, in an earlier video. Go to the fourth slide in here. Once again, I'm gonna right click, object properties, click my fourth panel, edit, and as you'll see, I choose the pattern background and these two variants to make that design.
grab my text tool, put some, some basic text on here, which this is uh, some lorem ipsum. And then for these images here, all I did here is went into my insert and grabbed some font awesome items here, which are some of these credit card uh, tools right here. Okay. Now, we'll go into this in another video, but I just want to show you something really quick about, uh, about uh, let me rephrase. We're going to go into a, a category or a video all of its own called Arrange, but I'm going to give you a heads up right now. See, we can take these, anything, they can be images, whatever we want, but um, we are going to rearrange these again. Now, let's just say I want these all to line up uh, center to each other. So I am going to click this one, hold down my shift key and hold the next one, keep my shift key held down and click on the next one. Now, I want these to line up to be centered. So I'm gonna come over here to range and I'm going to choose the center, align center. Now, the important thing to remember about this is everything's going to line up centered based on the last object I chose. So I'm going to grab a grid tool here just so you can see this happening. And then we're going to center. Boom. See, everything lined up according to the last object. I chose. So I'm going to move this back out, throw it back in the toolbar, and once again, I'm going to grab, click out of it, grab one of these, and let's say I want the spacing to be about that far apart, okay? So once again, I'm going to click, shift click, shift click, and I want these to be centered horizontally. centered in page horizontally. Oh, that didn't work. Let's go back and shift. Shift and shift. Hang on one second. Vertically, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Click on vertical. But anyway, in your align tool, we're going to go in this in the align tool, but anyway, I just wanted you to see this. Click out of it. And then click all of them again, and we can rearrange these. All right, sorry about that little faux pas there, but uh, anyway. The last object that's clicked when you're using the arrange tool is the one that's going to use it as a base, okay? Just so you remember that. Anyway, not a part of this video. We'll get into that later. Let's uh, preview this and see how it's going to look in a web browser. All right. And as you'll see, it's sliding through just like we set it up to be. Let's go back to WYSIWYG Web Builder here and let's discuss a few more objects here. Now if we right click on this we can do a lot of different things. Let's go down to Object Properties. Style. If we go into Style well hang on, let's, let's, let's back up here. We're going to highlight the carousel. Object Properties. Those are our, our four pages. We can add and remove, like I just like I discussed. Now, if we go into options, here's where some of the fun kind of starts. We can actually determine how long each slide stays on the page. As an as an example, the default is three seconds, which is three thousand milliseconds. If we wanted this to be five seconds, it would be five thousand or 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. The duration right here is how long it takes for the page to actually 
transition into the next slide. Now the animation, we can move it in different ways. It doesn't have to be just sliding across. We can have slide up, drop left, rotate, fold. I mean, there are, you, you'll have to experiment with these because there are just way too many of them. Easing, same way. You're going to have to experiment with these because there's just way too many for me to go into them all at once. Now, when it comes to the navigation, the navigation are these little bars off to the left and right hand side. We don't have to show them. We can click, uh, deselect that, click OK, and as you'll see, they disappeared. So, update properties, options. We're going to turn those back on. But you don't have to use those. You can actually create, uh, import your own buttons, your previous and your next buttons. And you can align them however you want, offset them however you want, and you can experiment with that. Now, the pageation, the pageation, let me see if I can get this out of the way. The pageation, of course, is these down at the bottom. And You only have two choices for those, and that's the rectangular or eclipse or the circle, basically. But you can change the padding, you can change the uh, color, you can change the how, it, you know, if you want them on the left, if you want them on the right, if you want them centered. Um, so in the size, you, you have a lot of different options here when it comes to that pageation. Now, when you come into style here, you'll see that you got a background option. This background option is for the entire slideshow. So if you wanted to create a slideshow that has one background, that's fine. That's just, this is exactly why you do that. And you would not put a background image on each individual slide. But you can put a border, radius, width of the, width of the border, background, and same thing with backgrounds. As with everything else with backgrounds, you have choice of solids, image. Yes, you can put an image. Um, texture, pattern, whatever, okay? And you can also do events and, and uh, create a slideshow, turning it into a form, but we're gonna discuss those in a later date. But just to let you know that there is so many options when it comes to creating a slideshow. Now, I'm gonna reiterate one more thing that I went through in a, a previous video, but I'm just gonna show this to you one, one more time. I'm gonna F5 so that we can preview this. Okay, this ugly, ugly, ugly slideshow is off to the side. And as you see, it's not even centered. Not centered at all. So, let's go back to our WYSIWYG. And we are going to whoop, click, click on our page, page properties. We're going to say center horizontally. Okay. Now we're going to click on our carousel image and we're going to arrange, make sure we're in our arrange tab, center horizontally and page. Now let's F5 this or preview. Boom. Now it is centered in our page if we would want it to be centered. So all right so this is carousels as ugly as mine may be we'll see you in the next video thanks